All right, I'm out here with Daquan. We're getting ready to do the um, gutter cleaning portion of this house. And uh, I just, without me saying how I would do it, I want, uh, Daquan usually works with Ryan. Um, they never see me anymore. But I just want y'all to get Daquan's opinion about how we would do this house and also how long you think it would take for us to complete the gutter clean on this house uh, with two guys. This house right here probably take about, hey, let me, all right. A good 15 to 20 minutes. That's with the gutter cleaning and the cleanup. We'll set the ladder up over there on the side, run and go up on the top. So you'd set the ladder up about somewhere in here on the yeah, first story? Yeah, somewhere the side, on the side right here. Run okay. and go up on the top. I do the, uh, go around do the corner. Set. Well, I walk around and check if it's there's lower section first. Run and go to the back, finish the, uh, the top portion of the back, come around to the front. By that time, by the time he get back to the front, I'll be at the front lower section wrapping up and I'll leave the ladder right there. He'll be coming down the ladder. I'll be walking around, cleaning up, in the truck, packed up, ready to go. Ready to go, 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and walk around the side of the house and see what we got going on. All right, you can see that uh, Daquan just set up the ladder here. I'm going to run over here, put up the harness, run up the roof, and he's going to move the ladder and get started.
All right, guys, there you have it. The running time on that video was 10 minutes. Uh, keep in mind that included Daquan moving the uh, camera. It included me um, putting on the harness and stuff like that. Um, and also keep in mind, we weren't trying to show you a house that had a ton of debris. We're trying to focus on the process of two people working together, moving the ladder um, so that nobody has any downtime. And again, I wouldn't have been sitting on the roof at the end if Daquan hadn't been messing around with the camera. He would have had that first story section done right uh, right as I get this one done. Um, extra steps that would be needed to complete this job are blowing off the lower roof in the back and in the front um, when this house has a lot of debris in it and also going around and picking up the debris at the end. So tack on another five, 10 minutes. So um, complete job, start to finish, 15, 20 minutes from the time we get out of the truck, You know, put all of our safety gear on and get back in the truck. Um, and then I'll go ahead and be honest. I did not use the goat at this house. The goat is a attachment. It's a long pole. It goes up and it hooks onto the ridge and it gives me something safely to walk up the roof um, before I put the Ridge Pro in place. So I didn't do that at this house, but we have a goat that's dedicated just to that. So it would simply have added a minute just to, you know, put it up there, hook onto the ridge, then set this in place. It wouldn't have added a lot more time. And we'll show you that process here in upcoming videos. Today, I just wanted to focus on the two people working together and how I use the Ridge Pro for safety on the second story section. So hope this helps. Talk to you soon. You guys have a good one.